Have you been wondering why Grote was able to hold Thor's new axe? There are a lot of theories but here's what it is. In this scene we see Thor telling Star-Lord why none of them can hold any weapon from Nidavellir. Wait, what kind, of, what, what, what kind of weapon are we talking about here? The Thanos killing kind. Don't you think that we should all have a weapon like that? No. You simply lack the strength to wield them. Your bodies would crumple as your minds collapsed into madness. I personally believe what makes those weapons designed by Idri special is the powers behind them. Raccoon told Idri Thor was dying but Idri replied he needs the axe. Which means though the metals had been shaped, it wasn't a complete axe to keep him alive. So he needed the handle. Here we see Idri looking for the handle to make those two metals a complete weapon. So before Grote held them together, it wasn't a complete axe till he detached it from his body. Grote had those metals attached to his body which of course wasn't making the supposed axe complete. The axe could only be completed by the two sides joined with a handle and then becomes an independent object. Right after Grote detached the supposed axe from his body, the new axe started responding to Thor's lightning. This was the confirmation that a new king's weapon has been born for Thor, the Stormbreaker. Things to know about Stormbreaker one the Stormbreaker became a weapon after Grote detached it from his body. Two the Stormbreaker is a king's weapon and no one other than the king of Asgard. Three meant to be the greatest in Asgard. Four it could even summon the Bifrost. Grote never wielded the Stormbreaker but helped in making it. Don't forget to subscribe. We love MCU movies.